Now, the harsh reality of life is that indeed one day death will come knocking and more often than not unexpectedly. But it is the level of unpreparedness that leads to endless succession tussles in bereaved families. There is time. I'm not going to die soon. <laughs> I'm still young. My family is still young. Still, I've not decided yet. I don't think I'm going to die that soon. Uh -huh. So I've not written one. So even if you are at go to court, uh, in the absence of a will, the case takes much longer to resolve. Because either the parties will have to agree, or if they don't agree, the court will have to look at what the deceased has left behind and decide a fair way. The elder brother to the late Internal Security Assistant Minister Joshua Oro Ojode has petitioned the Speaker of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marende, not to release any compensation to the family, claiming Ojode's widow, Mary Ojode, has totally refused to discuss or cooperate on matters relating to the deceased's estate. Widows suffer most of the time, and yet they are the ones bequeathed by the husband. The Succession Act holds that the widow maintains priority over a deceased estate and then the children, and then come the parents. At the end of it all, some may connect it with tradition, others even with taboo. And to others, it may simply be jumping the gun, but the importance of a will cannot be overemphasized because you never really know when these disputes can occur in your own family. Jackie Maribe for News at 8 in Nairobi.